Isaac Newton, who died almost 300 years ago, was one of the most influential scientists who's ever lived. He's famous, among other things, for his work on gravity and the laws of motion, his famous prism experiment, and for being one of the founders of calculus in mathematics. It's less well known that he carried out two incredibly dangerous experiments in which he could easily have been blinded. In the first, he was hoping to learn more about light perception by the eye, so he conducted an experiment on himself. He poked a big needle, called a bodkin, between his eye and his eye socket. In fact, here, in his own words, is what he did and what happened. I took a bodkin and put it betwixt my eye and the bone as near to the back side of my eye as I could, and on pressing my eye with the end of it, there appeared several white dark and coloured circles. When I continued to rub my eye with the point of the bodkin, the circles would grow faint and often disappear, until I renewed them by moving my eye or the bodkin. In another experiment, Newton wanted to study afterimages. An afterimage is the perception that continues to appear after a period of exposure to the original image. In order to conduct the experiment, Newton had to stare at a bright object. The object he chose to stare at was the sun. He looked at the reflection of the sun in a mirror while standing in a darkened room. He repeated the experiment several times and began to see the sun's image even when he wasn't looking at the sun. He'd created the sun's afterimage. But he also temporarily, for three days, blinded himself in his right eye and continued to experience afterimages for months. Looking at the sun directly or reflected in a mirror is incredibly dangerous and is something that no one should ever do. Looking steadily at the sun for any prolonged period can damage the retina. This kind of damage is known as solar retinopathy and in some cases can be permanent. Newton may have been a genius, but in both these experiments he was lucky to escape with his vision intact.